If this is the first time you are visiting our channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Many lives can be saved by defibrillation within the first minutes after sudden out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. The main problem here is that the emergency medical services, EMS, even with the inclusion of other first responders, often do not arrive within the first critical 5 to 10 minutes after an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. Considering the yearly operational cost of a ground-based ambulance, including personnel, vehicle, materials, and overhead, the development of the survival network is expensive. Therefore, alternatives are required. In this context, using unmanned aerial vehicles have been developed. The unmanned aerial vehicle or drone is becoming an increasingly popular tool for a wide range of applications. The concept of a drone dates back to 1849 when Austria utilized around 200 unmanned balloons filled with explosives during an attack on Venice. The first concept of a multirotor aircraft, something much more akin to modern drones, was a quadcopter designed by Jakes and Louis Breguet. They coined their creation the Gyroplane. In 1916, however, the first true drone was built by British engineer Archibald Lowe, who also developed the radio guidance system. Shortly afterward, the US developed the Kettering Bug, which was intended to be an aerial torpedo and used gyroscopic controls to detonate 82 kilograms of explosives. The first reconnaissance drone was used during the Vietnam War, at which point drones also found new roles as decoys in combat and the medians through which psychological operations could undergo. The 1960s also saw the first release of UAV technology to the public, in the form of remote-controlled planes. Between 1980 and 2010, drones saw major development in both the military and hobbyist sectors. In modern times, the drone is a booming technology with many uses by both the military and private sector, including photography, pipeline inspection, monitoring the climate, search and rescue, and delivery. If you want us to make this kind of video, make sure you comment below and do not forget to subscribe. One promising application of drones is the medical field, and more specifically, emergency response. These so-called ambulance drones were first proposed by the Delft University of Technology, which set out to respond to patients who required immediate medical attention by using a small UAV that delivered an automated external defibrillator to those in need. A drone ambulance would be helpful in situations where a typically manned ground ambulance cannot efficiently perform. In these situations, a drone ambulance would supplement the ground ambulance by providing life-saving medication and supplies to the victims of medical emergencies until the ground ambulance arrived. Usage of an automated external defibrillator within 3 to 5 minutes of cardiac arrest results in survival rates as high as 50 to 70%. The potential uses of a UAV system in healthcare are not strictly limited to ambulance-like emergency services. Drone programs have already been deployed and tested in countries where bacterial and viral infections threaten daily life. In Tanzania, for example, drones were able to provide much faster delivery times of vital medical supplies, which has helped combat its extremely high maternal mortality rate. Another potential usage of drones is the delivery of biological material. Early studies have shown that there is little to no risk of contamination or unusable samples as a result of drone flight, though more studies should be conducted. In terms of the usage of drones in natural disaster relief and response, drones are used to scout out areas in a much faster and cheaper fashion than traditional helicopters. The logistical benefits of using a drone to find survivors as well as to survey the damage to the surrounding environment and wildlife are extremely valuable to first responders on the scene as it allows them to fully assess the situation. Drones can also reach lower altitudes than manned aerial vehicles and do so much more safely. 
The lithium polymer battery pack is the only alternative to the gas-powered UAVs used by the military, and lithium polymer batteries have extremely short flight time capability, which is not enough for the types of operations the military would be conducting with their drones. In this context, researchers are working on alternatives, such as hydrogen fuel cell-powered drones, to increase the drone's flight time. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification.